Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four on this Monday. Hope you all had a good weekend. Beautiful day today. A reward from the washout over the weekend. Well, Sunday wasn't bad. Yeah. I got a lot of yard work done, but yeah, a lot of rain coming down. Yeah. We'll get to the weather in just a bit, but first, topping our news today, Whitewater police arrest a man accused of holding a woman against her will for days. Israel's defense minister warns of a long war against Hamas. I'm Natalie Brand with how the Biden administration is trying to prevent the conflict from escalating. And reporter Kyle Pizorski will join us to tell us about a man who has been in a coma after being hit by a car. Let's take a look outside. Oh, we got some new employees here at the station. This is what, uh, when we come to work every morning, <laughs> this is what's greeting us. A flock of wild turkeys, yeah, they're saying. And that's pretty brave to get that close to them. Let us in. We've got a story to report about turkey prices. Gobble it up. <laughs> the sunshine, that is. Jake's in the backyard. <laughs> Turkey's leaving you alone out there. Yeah, none, none right now, but I did spot them when I walked in. Now, if we take a look outside, we are seeing complete sunshine. But just because we're seeing complete sunshine doesn't mean the temperatures are warm. 54 in Madison, pretty chilly. It actually warmed up a little bit over the last hour or so. Temperatures have mostly been in the lower 50s for Dane County. Looking across Dane County, they are starting to warm up a bit towards the upper 80s for some. But there are parts of our area struggling to get to 50 just to the east of Madison, 51 in June. Know, but there are 60s in parts of our region, 60 in Basketball. So a little bit of, a little, you know, some cool weather, some not so cool weather. Uh, fairly comfortable for the most part, especially when you're in the sun, and especially considering that we have kind of gotten used to these 50s. Also, the winds aren't too bad, maxing out at 10 miles per hour for some. Current radar completely dry across Wisconsin and pretty much all of the Great Lakes region. And for the evening, we're going to remain clear. Temperatures will drop into the 40s by the time we get to around 7 or 8. And then as we get to the overnight hours, it's going to be a pretty chilly night with lows in the 30s, and there could be some frost by morning. Now there's a frost advisory north of our area, but our area could possibly see some of that frost during the early morning hours. I'll track our next chance of rain coming up a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. Police in Whitewater say they've arrested a man accused of holding a woman against her will for multiple days. Our Jalen Banks has been in Whitewater all day and joins us near where the suspect was arrested. Jalen? Right now, I'm on the 300 block of Prince Street where authorities took Jefferson Guzman Rodriguez after he led them on a foot chase not too far from Lincoln Elementary School. Around 10.30 last night, authorities responded to the 300 block of Janesville Street where they surrounded a garage they believed he was barricading himself into. After they got into the garage, they realized he wasn't there. According to Whitewater City Manager John Wydell, they eventually found Guzman Rodriguez on the 900 block of Highland Street. I spoke with someone that lives across the street from the initial search at where the garage took place, who says he's relieved that Guzman Rodriguez was caught. Text notification knowing like he was arrested, I'm like, oh, thank God. It's crazy that it was happening right on my street. Like, you like see things in the news like that, and you're like, whoa, that's, and then it's actually like in your backyard or like across the street, yeah. Guzman Rodriguez is currently being held at the Walworth County Jail. He faces potential charges of kidnapping, false imprisonment, substantial battery, substantial uh, and first degree recklessly endangering safety. Tonight at 5, we'll hear how the city is responding to the incident. Reporting in Whitewater, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. Jalen, thank you. The Wisconsin Badger football team will be without their starting quarterback for several weeks after he broke his hand in Saturday's loss to Iowa. ESPN and several other media reports say that Tanner Mordecai, Mordecai had surgery on his broken hand on Sunday, one day after he left the game in the second quarter of Wisconsin's 15-6 <coughs> loss to the Hawkeye. Redshirt freshman Braden Locke took over for Mordecai and is expected to be the starter going forward. Wisconsin travels to Illinois to play Brett Bielema and the Illini before hosting Ohio State on October 28th. Well, it's been three months and five days since a Madison man was struck by a car, changing his life forever. 39-year-old Stephen Branch has been in a coma ever since. Tonight at 6, reporter Kyle Pozorski checks in with his family and the dangerous rise in reckless driving across Dane County. And Kyle's here to share more of his interview. Hi, Mark and Susan. Well, the day after it happened, I spoke with Stephen's brother, Preston, who set up a GoFundMe to cover medical costs. Now, three months later, the family is still coming to terms with what happened. 
Police believe Stephen had the right of way when he had the crosswalk, used the crosswalk of North Sherman and Commercial Avenues when a sedan struck him. Preston says Stephen's medical condition has minimally improved, with Stephen being unconscious since. It's like uncertain about the level of care he would need. They're saying that he might be in a permanent, like vegetative type of state. July's crash has not officially been called a reckless driving incident, but rather police say it was due to a distracted driver. Police say that July's crash points to a larger issue in the rise of people not paying attention, driving too fast, and running traffic lights. Kyle, any insight from police as to why they see more people driving recklessly? They're saying that basically what they found is past since the pandemic, they had more and more people were driving recklessly, and that's because they were changing their driving habits at that time because less people were on the roads. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it comes down to, and they've just kind of seen that and continued those habits ever since. What's next for Stephen and his family? What's next is that Stephen, he's still in a 24-hour care facility uh, somewhere near Milwaukee, actually, at this time. Uh, his family says right now they're still trying to raise any funds that they can through their GoFundMe to help out these medical costs. Yeah, it's a rough story. The best to him and his family. Kyle, thank you. Thank you. With the threat of an Israeli ground invasion, the destruction in Gaza continues to intensify. Nearly 200 hostages are being held in Gaza, more than previously reported. President Biden changed his schedule today in part to deal with developments in the Middle East. Natalie Brand has more from the White House. Israel is preparing for an imminent ground offensive with one very clear goal. A crushing victory over Hamas, says Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Israeli soldiers say they're ready. We are ready and we want to do it, to finish it, because they cut our friend's head and they killed too many people here in Israel. In Gaza, Hamas propaganda video shows militants using a web of underground tunnels. There are going to be improvised explosive devices, there will be booby traps, there will be suicide vests. Palestinians with dual citizenship crowded the border crossing from Gaza into Egypt Monday, trying to get out. We're only citizens, we're not fighting, we're not doing anything, we're just living here. An evacuation ship carrying American citizens left the Israeli port of Haifa, and U.S. facilitated charter flights will continue through Tuesday. CBS News confirms President Biden is considering a possible visit to Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu extended the invitation and the two sides are talking it over. America's top diplomat is in Israel now, talking with its leaders, including the defense minister. This will be a long war. The price will be high. You have and will always have the support of the United States. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is also trying to secure the release of hostages, but Hamas says it won't negotiate with Israeli bombs still falling. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Israel warned Iran and Hezbollah not to test the Jewish state in the north, also repeating a similar message from President Biden. House Republicans are reconvening on Capitol Hill this evening for another closed-door meeting to see how far apart they are in selecting a new Speaker of the House. Jim Jordan stayed on Capitol Hill over the weekend, meeting with Republican colleagues who still are not on board with him becoming the next Speaker. Jordan did gain some momentum when the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, Congressman Mike Rogers, announced on Twitter that he is going to vote for Jordan. Listen to, uh, to concerns you may have. Uh, I think none of those concerns are anything that, that, that we can't, we can't uh, address, so I feel good about where we're at. But at least a dozen or so House GOP members still oppose him, leaving Jordan short of the 217 votes needed to become Speaker. So far, all of the voting has taken place behind closed doors with only Republicans casting votes. But GOP leaders are planning to hold a full vote on the House floor tomorrow, forcing their members to say publicly whether they support Jordan or not. Well, this week you can unleash your curiosity with the 13th annual Wisconsin Science Festival. The festival runs today through Sunday in 50 counties across the state. Each day, there are multiple events that the whole family can enjoy in person or online. The festival's goal is to give people of all ages the opportunity to learn something new in different areas of sciences. 
anybody can be a scientist. Science is everywhere and all around us and is happening all the time. And um, you're never too old to learn something new and you're never too young to teach something as well. So we really try and embrace that. The biggest event is Thursday night at Science on the Square in downtown Madison from 5 to 9 p.m. But everything from interactive science in a bag kits to lectures with scientists are available all week long. Boy, it's hard to believe this, but Thanksgiving is coming up and the Goodman Community Center wants to make sure that all families celebrate with a holiday meal. Registration for their 35th annual Thanksgiving basket drive opened earlier today. The Goodman Center is working to provide a full Thanksgiving dinner to families in need. Dane County residents who want to receive a basket can sign up starting today until next Friday on the Goodman Center website. It's goodmancenter.org. The center has already set a goal of packing and giving out 4,000 Thanksgiving it's baskets. It's incredible work they do. Anything you can do to help them out, they'll, they'll take it. Well, it was a very busy weekend at the box office thanks to, who else? <laughs> Taylor Swift. When we come back, Swifties sent her concert movie into the record books. Film critic Will Loper has the numbers next in the Loper Report. At Revamp, we transform your old beat-up concrete from this to this in one day. We grind down the concrete to open up the pores for a perfect bond. Then we repair all cracks and apply our base coat and chip and seal it with our polyaspartic top coat that will never chip, peel, or discolor. On top of all that, our coatings are ridiculously easy to clean and covered by our exclusive lifetime warranty. And right now, we're running our 60-60-60 sale. So when you purchase your new concrete coating from any of our revamped brands, you get a $60 Visa gift card, plus either 60% off the installation or 60 month no interest financing and when you call during this program you'll also get up to 10 carbon fiber concrete stitches free which help reinforce cracks and stop them from spreading a 350 dollar value for free south central wisconsin homeowners pick up the phone call 1-800-886-8411 that's 1-800-886-8411 did you know that Wisconsin Vision offers telehealth eye exams? I just scheduled my telehealth eye exam easily on their website. Once in store, a tech helps get me started and then pre-checks my eyes. See my eye on the screen? Then I have my telehealth eye exam virtually with a licensed optometrist on the TV. Everything looks great, Kate. You're going to love your new prescription. Ask about our $69 eye exam. Wisconsin Vision, see more life. The new Tee Box Savannah and Dining Room with Private Bar is there waiting for you at Vitense Golfland. Two large HD TVs are available for viewing, meetings, and casual gatherings. Private Bar is available for any type of event. No meeting can compare with adding activities of Vitense Golfland. Enjoy indoor outdoor miniature golf, golf suites, and golf and multi sport simulators. Add chocolate shop ice cream. As our sign says, ice cream solves everything. Infuse life and fun into your meetings and events at Vitense Golfland. It's never about in the game of golf just one thing. It's everything. It's all encompassing. In Golf Galaxy, we are your team. And if you have a question on your equipment, your fitter's here for you. If you have a question on your swing or something mechanical, our Class A PGA professionals are here for you. If you need help fixing something, our club techs are here for you. We have the fitting bays, we have the track man, we have Biomech putter fitting system. When you come in, we want to fit you with the right apparel, the right footwear. We have everything that you could possibly need to improve your game. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Culver's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers. They're topped with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to delicious. delicious. <laughs> News 3 Now, live at 4. Welcome back.
fact, five sports, including cricket and flag football, were included in the 2028 Los Angeles Olympic Games today after gaining the approval of the International Olympic Committee. Cricket, which enjoys a massive following in India and has a, growing, and has a fast growing global audience, returns to the Games after more than a century having appeared once at the 1900 Olympics. Flag football is a non contact form of American football played by teams of five. The other sports are softball, baseball, squash, and lacrosse. Lacrosse twice appeared as a medal sport at the Olympics in 1904 and 1908. Health experts are driving home the importance of safety around the house. The University of Pittsburgh's Medical Center has deployed a mobile safety van to help educate families about dangers that could be in reach of their children. When things you typically see in a house like stairs and a sink, the van shows you how accidents can happen anywhere at any time. We give them information that they may not have already heard. And a lot of families will tell us they, these are things that they didn't even know existed. She says kids not only have fun with the van, they're also like... They do have fun with the van, yes, they and do. then they get to pick a snack. It goes without saying. But the serious <laughs> side of this story is every year, over 3 million children end up in the ER for injuries that happen around the home, and 2,200 die. Suffocation, drowning, and burns are the leading causes of unintentional death in the home. The University of Pittsburgh Medical Center took its safety tips on the road after learning that families struggled to make it to their safety center. Stocks made some big gains today, kicking off a big earnings week with a bang. The Dow Industrials gained 314 points, the NASDAQ up 160, and the S&P 500 added 45. The Salvation Army, the NFL, and Dolly Parton make a big announcement this morning. Let's take a look. <laughs> Okay, here to tell us about the latest on this announcement is our own resident Dolly Parton correspondent. He is on top of all of the Dolly Parton news. Hello, Brady. Can I put that on my resume? <laughs> yes. Brady Mallory, Dollyologist. Oh, <laughs> hello, Dolly. Okay, country music legend Dolly Parton, of course, will perform at the Thanksgiving Day Commanders versus Cowboys game at the AT&T Stadium in Texas. Now, it's all part of the Salvation Army's Red Kettle kickoff halftime show. CBS Evening News anchor and managing editor Nora O'Donnell asked Ask Dolly about her plans. We're going to do some stuff that everybody can sing along with me on. They'll know the songs I'm doing. And I'm, uh, I have about six, six minutes, six and a half minutes of show to do. So I'll be singing songs. I'm, I'm doing definitely one thing from my rock album. So we'll end the show with that. That rock album, by the way, comes out a month from tomorrow, in case you forgot. <laughs> well, you can see the Thanksgiving Day game right here on CBS and more of Nora's interview with Dolly Parton tomorrow night on the CBS Evening News. She sings rock and roll songs? Uh, she's a rock star now. That's she, always, she always has been, hasn't she? Uh, to me, she has. But I think you <laughs> yes. both know what you're getting for Christmas this year. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brady, thank That's you. exciting. Thank you, Brady. Well, there's simply no stopping Taylor Swift in concert. On or off the big screen. Here, here's film critic Will Loper with more on the Taylor Swift movie. Hey, Mark and Susan. Taylor Swift and her army of Swifties have broken box office records. The Eras Tour has not only become the highest grossing concert film opening weekend ever, in just a few days it has become the highest grossing concert film period. Now that's a mic drop. Welcome to the Eras Tour. So who did Taylor knock off the charts? The previous top concert films include Justin Bieber's Never Say Never from 2011. <laughs> 2009's This Is It, released four months after Michael Jackson's death. And of course, Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus, the best of both worlds concert, released in 2008. And this new box office champ follows Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, filmed in August of this year over three shows in California. through each of Taylor's musical eras in 10 acts representing each of her 10 albums. We're about 
to go on a little adventure together, and that adventure is going to span 17 years of music. How does that sound? There's no denying the show-stopping spectacle the film gives us, and the darn catchiness of the songs themselves. But most importantly, is Taylor Swift at the center of it all? Emotional, charismatic, and larger than life. Taylor Swift The Eras Tour is worth seeing. See you there. Over on streaming services, newly streaming on Max is the second season of Our Flag Means Death. Gentlemen, the end of piracy. Something's wrong. Feels like a storm's coming. The entire escape relies on this. We've only got one shot. Nope, I can't do it. I've never even seen one of these. Watch Rhys Darby star as the aristocrat turned pirate as he gets up to more hijinks. I've been a failure my whole life. It's not so bad once you get used to it. New on home video tomorrow on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K is one of the best films of 2023, Barbie. It's the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. Margot Robbie stars as the Mattel doll come to life in a film that's equal parts hilarious and sharp tooth social commentary. Barbie in the real world. That's impossible. If this got out, this could mean extremely weird things for our world. And it's hard to beat that Ryan Gosling as Ken musical number. Live at four, I'm Will Lope. Barbara. I'd like to I'm, see I'd like to see that. Did you see the Barbie movie? No, I haven't. No. And the Taylor Swift movie, the tickets were impossible to get and so expensive, so this is great. You can feel like you went to Actually, the Actually, it's hard to get tickets for the movie. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's very popular. I wish I knew more. I love, I am a Swifty, but I don't know enough of the lyrics to be able to sing along with all the songs. Go last people in the newsroom. Yeah, exactly, get working on it. Well, some sad entertainment news from over the weekend. When we come back, we'll have more on the life and career of actress Suzanne Summers, who lost her battle with breast cancer. We'll look back at her story after Jacob's forecast. It hits you when you step into any of the three Willie Street co-op stores, the smell of freshness. We work with hundreds of farms and vendors to bring you natural, organic, and local food selection unmatched in Madison. Everyone is welcome at Willie Street Co-op, and if you join our more than 30,000 owners, you'll get more sales, discounts, and perks. Fresh, local, organic, yours, Willie Street Co-op. Have you ever been challenged, been tried, made a pact with your own limits? Have you been here, there, places no one should go? If you have, then you know that whatever you're capable of, so are we. No wonder Ford SUVs lead in brand loyalty. Choose Flex Buy on a new 2024 Ford Edge. We get 1.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 Flex Buy cash and 1,000 low APR cash. Ivisia Dry Eye Drops. Made with hydrating polymers, moisturizing hyaluronic acid, and revitalizing trehalose for instant dryness relief that lasts up to eight hours. Ivisia, we see a better way. This is you. And you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care. Because the way you, 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 and you feel matters. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health, know how much you matter to this world. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. When you pull up to someone's house, the first thing you see nowadays is their garage door. 
Let Precision's experienced designers come to your home and help you select the perfect door for your house. Precision is there to help. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. four-legged honorary mayor of a Colorado town <laughs> marked the arrival of the cold season in October by posing on a snowy mountain as a snow cannon blasts out powder behind him. The video was posted to Parker the Snow Dog's official X account with a caption reading, Making Snow, my favorite time of the year, let's go. Parker, who is the official mascot for Loveland Ski Area, became famous in 2020 when he was voted honorary mayor of Georgetown, Colorado by the Town Board of Selectmen with a mission to bring hugs, love, and cookies to the people he calls neighbors and friends. What a good boy, Parker. <laughs> He's a Bernese mountain dog. No <laughs> I can't believe he's just sitting there with the hat on, no problem. <laughs> he's the mayor. Very cute. Yeah. And, I'm not, and I'm not sure how many people know this, but typically some of those higher elevations in the Rockies get plenty of snow in Oct from October all the way through April and even May. They can even get snow in September. Wow, yeah. pretty now, yeah. yeah. We got a ways to go, I hope. Yeah, we got at least, prob we probably got at least a month, probably, probably more, more than that, that yeah. yeah. All right. Can't say for sure, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, famous no last words. No snow in the uh, foreseeable <laughs> there future. There we go. It's 100% guaranteed. <laughs> I'll have more details on that coming up right after the break. The fresh timer starts the minute a tomato gets picked. That's why at Pick and Save, we shorten the time from harvest to home. So no matter how you shop, you'll have more time to enjoy your fresh produce. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. The next generation of streaming is here. Introducing Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. With the all-new Zumo Stream Box, it's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with fast and reliable internet for $49.99 a month, free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited mobile line, and a free Zumo Stream Box when you add Spectrum TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains, or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4-inch diagonal touchscreen, whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing, plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups. Plus, get 1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Save big money with these hot deals at Menards. All prices after 11% rebate. Clean your windows before winter. Glass cleaners, just 99 cents. Ball turf food and winterizer is $17.99. Update your kitchen with this pull-down faucet for just $59.98. This six-panel interior door is $99.99. And add the finishing touch with a passenger privacy lock set for $7.49. These hot deals won't last long. Hurry before time runs out. Save big money at Menards. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, iCare's dual eligible special needs plans help you get both care and coverage. Benefits include $1,800 per year to pay for eligible groceries and over-the-counter items. Whatever you don't spend carries over each month. Receive a $4,000 a year dental allowance and pay nothing for covered prescriptions all year long, even the brand name ones. Call us today and a licensed sales agent will help you find out if you're eligible. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. At Pick and Save, everyone wins when it comes to savings because you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards on pickup or delivery as you do in store. So no matter how you shop, everyone saves big. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. 
Here are the three things you need to know for the rest of the week. We are going to see some pretty cool temperatures tonight as those lows will drop into the 30s. Now tomorrow is going to be a pretty quiet day, but then we could see some showers Wednesday and Thursday, possibly even lingering into Friday. But right now it doesn't look to be nearly as bad as what we saw last week. So taking a look outside, seeing plenty of sunshine and really there's clear skies across all of Wisconsin. Barely any rainfall. This is uh, the radar. There's just nothing on it right now simply because we are very dry across the entire state and really across much of the Midwest and Great Lakes. Now looking at future track, we're going to remain clear tonight. As I mentioned, those temperatures could drop into the 30s with a small frost concern, but right now none of our area is under a frost advisory, but just north up in Watoma, uh, there, there is a frost advisory for a few counties up there. Now, as we get into tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see plenty of sunshine, maybe a few clouds, especially towards the evening. And then by the time we get to the overnight hours, we'll see plenty of clouds move in. And then Wednesday morning, we will start to see some showers across our area, and these will continue throughout the afternoon. Parts of our area may miss out on the showers completely, but in general, if it does rain on Wednesday, it's probably going to be pretty light, and this will continue for Thursday as well. Just some scattered light showers, uh, really for um, all of Wednesday and Thursday. It could get moderate to heavy at times, but they're not going to last very long, just expected to be on and off. And total precipitation uh, through uh, this whole system will only be about a half inch at most. So we're not expecting any big numbers like what we saw last week. So not really a huge issue, but definitely be prepared for those uh, showers Wednesday and Thursday. So lows tonight, like I mentioned, going to drop into the 30s, possibly near freezing. And as I mentioned, there is a little bit of that frost concern, but and that's because temperatures don't need to drop uh, to freezing in order to get that frost. Partly sunny to mostly sunny tomorrow, as we'll see highs in in the upper 50s for Madison, but possibly lower 60s closer to Iowa. Now, as we get into Wednesday, although we have a chance of rainfall, temperatures are going to increase just a little bit as we're going to see those high temperatures in the 60s. Now, I want to take a second and check out our photo of the day showing uh, two pups playing in a field. Thank you, uh, Sue Clearfield, for sending in this photo. And you can send in your own photos through the, our weather app or through the email address you see on screen, firstworn at WISCTV.com. So here's a look at the seven day forecast chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday after Wednesday where we could see those highs in the 60s. We will likely be in the 50s really for the next 10 days, possibly a little bit of a warm up towards the middle of next week, but we are going to be in the 50s with mostly dry conditions over the weekend. We also have another chance of rain next Wednesday as well, but similar to the rain chance this week, we're not expected to see a whole lot. So in general, pretty calm weather going forward. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 40s for the most part. Not too far off from average. We are a little bit below average, but by this time next week, the average high is will be in the 50s. Uh, if you can believe it already, we're getting in that time of year. Temperatures are just going to continue to fall. Well, so, that's why they call it fall. At this point, you should. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> at this point, you should enjoy the 50s because soon we'll right. be begging for them. Right. <laughs> All right. We're going to go beyond the beyond the barometer now with the rainfall we got. Yeah. So much of our area saw about two inches or more of rainfall. Let's take a look at some of these rainfall totals. Uh, Milton was the highest total with 3.23 inches. Now these are all specific reports, and I want to talk a little bit about that Madison one in just a bit. 2.5 nine inches. But here are some other rain reports before I get into that. Uh, much of our area saw over an inch to an inch and a half uh, with plenty of parts uh, over two inches. The most rainfall occurred in Rock County. As I mentioned, Milton got over three inches of rain. Now, this isn't unprecedented. Uh, definitely a lot of rainfall. Uh, but considering what we have seen over the last couple of months, it can, you can make a case that it is pretty extreme. Let, let, let's take a look at some of these uh, comparisons I found. So the average precipitation for all of October is 2.77 inches. So we weren't that far off from one system alone. Now that typically happens, but let's backtrack a bit to August. Typically a much wetter month than October, 2.42 inches for our air for Madison during that entire month. But let's backtrack even further. If you take May and June combined, which are the two wettest months of the year in Madison, this system alone in October got more rainfall than those two months combined. Just oh, kind that's of an, interesting. Kind it puts of it in perspective. Yeah, kind of showing the extreme. Well, that's more of an indication of May and June rather than this past system, but it just shows you that like this system we needed at a different time. Our, we're, right. We obviously still need the rainfall, but just considering how dry it was, this specific system had more rain than a two-month period that's supposed to be our wettest. Wow. 
that that's kind of crazy. It seemed like a yeah. lot of rain, and it was. Yeah. It definitely <laughs> yes, was. Yes. <laughs> but like I said, not unprecedented, uh, but definitely uh, pretty surprising considering how dry it has been. All right. Well, look forward to the drought report on Thursday. Yes, so I, I'm looking forward to it as well. All right. Thanks, Jacob. Thanks, Jacob. Actress Suzanne Summers has died. Her publicist revealed the 76-year-old died peacefully at her home on Sunday. Today would have been her 77th birthday. Suzanne Summers has battled breast cancer for more than two decades. Stephanie Elam looks back at her life and career. You can run from danger, but you can't run away from your feet. <laughs> she was one third of the iconic sitcom trio in Three's Company. For more than five decades, Suzanne Summers entertained fans in front of the camera while becoming a business mogul behind the scenes. If you believe in yourself and you focus and you're willing to work like a dog, <laughs> you can make your dreams come true. After more than a decade stuck in bit roles, Summers landed a lead character in the 1977 sitcom Three's Company, playing naive blonde bombshell Chrissy Snow. <laughs> Three's company became a ratings bonanza and Summers a merchandising sensation. In 1979, she received a Golden Globe nomination. During the show's fifth season in 1980, Summers asked producers for equal pay, the same as her male co-stars. And I said, they're not going to get rid of Chrissy. <laughs> Never think that you are, you are not replaceable. Her request for equal pay, she said, got her fired. I went from being the, the number one actress on television in those desired demographics to now I couldn't get an interview. Looking to reinvent herself, Summers turned to her musical talent. In 1981, she opened a headlining show in Las Vegas, for which she won Las Vegas Female Entertainer of the Year in 1986. Her 1983 TV music special, Suzanne Summers and 10,000 GIs, earned her an Emmy nomination. She returned to network TV in the late 80s, most notably playing the mom in the 1991 family sitcom, Step by Step. Later in life, she launched a talk show on Lifetime in 2012. Welcome to The Suzanne Show. The Suzanne Show earned her a Daytime Emmy nomination. Three years later, she appeared as a contestant on Dancing with the Stars. Off screen, Summers became a best selling author while also creating a fitness, health, and anti aging empire. In the 90s, her Thighmaster infomercials netted more than $100 million in sales. Then came a jewelry line on the home shopping network, skincare, cosmetics, and fashion. In all, over 500 products branded under her name. Her books on alternative medicine earned her a following and plenty of criticism as a health guru. And go to a qualified doctor. Summers faced several health issues of her own. Skin cancer in her 30s and breast cancer in 2000 and again in 2023. But she's best known for her vibrant legacy on screen and off. If you just follow the flow of your life and, um, and be honest about it, you can make your life anything you want it to be. And she did. Mm -hmm. An incredible life, yeah. Well, coming up ne next year on Live Before, schools nationwide are struggling to find enough bilingual teachers to fill classrooms. And then next hour at 5, we're live at the Best of Madison Taste Party, our Charlotte Deleste, who won a big award in this recent Best of Madison voting, will join us live coming up at 5. At Lawton Cates, Your Life Counts is more than just a slogan. It means we're committed to seeking justice for those injured by someone else's negligence. It means standing up to the insurance company, helping you with your medical bills, and getting you fully compensated for lost time at work. Have questions? When you contact Lawton Cates, there's no charge for our initial consultation, and there's never a fee until we deliver the results you deserve. At Lawton Cates, Your Life Counts. Call today. Lately, we've all had to do more with less. At Chevy, we just want you to do more. So we continue to make affordable vehicles like high-tech SUVs, our most capable trucks, and the most affordable EV in America. It's how Chevy helps you do more for less.
or qualified lessees can get this Equinox for around $2.99 a month. Or get 2.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models when you purchase. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Are you sweating over high energy bills? Windows drafty or broken? Champion is here to help. With our 70th anniversary sale, buy two windows, get two free. At Champion, we design new windows specific to your home's needs. Then they are built in our very own factory, installed by a team of professionals, and guaranteed for a lifetime by our best-in-class warranty. Buy two windows, get two free. Call or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. Our city has a pulse. Steps from bustling and wild. Come find familiar. Experience new. Live in our rhythm and stay. New at 5, a Beloit mother demands justice after her 10-year-old son was killed in a shooting. News 3 Now shares her tale of caution with others. We have another chance of rain by the time we get to the middle of the week, but it's not expected to be nearly as heavy as it was last week. Now have more details at 5. And ahead at 6, we have continuing coverage in Whitewater as police arrest an 18-year-old accused of holding a woman hostage. We'll have the latest from the investigation tonight at 6. Giving the weather satellite a spin, we end up in New York City. 62 degrees there, sun setting. Sun is setting on the Big Apple. I stay in New York. Yep. Well, the record number of migrants arriving in the U.S. includes many young children. Now schools nationwide are trying to find enough bilingual teachers to fill classrooms. Michael George shows us how some cities are trying new ideas to recruit more educators. Schools across the country are adapting to a new reality, the enrollment of tens of thousands of migrant children. I've never had as many students as I have now. Michelle Land is a high school teacher and president of New Jersey Bilingual Educators. She says many children of asylum seekers speak little or no English, and without bilingual teachers, it'll be tough for them to keep up with their classmates or learn English. Can bilingual education actually help kids learn English faster? Absolutely. And as a teacher of language, I know that in order for the student to learn a new language, we need to have a strong foundation in the first language. A 2021 Department of Education report found more than half of states have a shortage of bilingual educators, with low pay and certification issues being the main reasons. Nonprofits are now offering financial incentives in Miami, Los Angeles, and Dallas to find more bilingual teachers. And in New York, a city trying to accommodate 20,000 more students, school officials are making it easier for bilingual teachers to get tenure. Launching that gave us access to over 500 additional teachers who are already tenured, already show proven success here in New York City schools, and who have the credentials to teach our, our multilingual learners. Melissa Aviles Ramos with the New York City Department of Education says now the city has enough teachers to handle the influx of new students. It makes a huge difference. Children feel welcomed when their, their language is, is recognized in a setting. The hope is it will give tens of thousands of kids a foundation for a good education. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Advocates say the U.S. will need to invest much more money in education to meet the demands of the growing number of migrant students. That's a lot of students. Yep. Well, still to come at four, we go behind the wheel in a 2024 Toyota Prius. This little hybrid's come a long way. Where did you resurrect that video? <laughs> this is the first model sold in the U.S. in December of 99. It's improved since then. <laughs> A little bit. Ar Arby Briggs will show us when Live at 4 continues.
Are you looking for a pre-owned vehicle that doesn't break the bank? Come visit Stark on the Beltline. We've got Hondas, Subarus, Toyotas, and trucks, and local financing options to help you get the best rates you deserve. Wisconsin's premier pre-owned dealership. The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original windows. Boom. Folks, there's no need to be afraid of old windows. Right now, buy one window and you'll get one free. Plus, no interest for one year. Buy one window, get one free, and soon. Hurry. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feltco. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. With Dean Health Plan, you can get the coverage you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. That includes medical, hospital, and prescription coverage with $0 copays for primary care doctor visits, plus extra benefits like comprehensive dental and savings on over-the-counter pharmacy items. Call 1-855-822-6173 now to request your free Dean Health Plan guide. Dean Health Plan, right here with you. Floor and Decor, my go-to to get it all. Tile, wood, stone, and laminate, they've got it. Installation materials, yep, and all the tools I need, they've got those too. More importantly, they've got my back with benefits and services I actually want and a pro app that makes my job easier. Floor and Decor just gets it. That means I get more done. At Floor and Decor, whether you're looking for everyday low pricing on in-stock job lock quantities and installation materials or a powerful partner to help take your business to the next level, we've got you covered. Discover Floor and Decor today. Don't mind me. I'm just the flu. I'm quite harmless, really. And when people ask, but aren't you linked to dangerous flu complications like pneumonia, heart attack, and hospitalizations? I just say, but I'm just the flu. It's him. Who? I'm just the flu. Fight the flu with higher dose flu vaccines from Sanofi. They're proven to provide better flu protection than standard dose flu shots in older adults. They've even been shown to better protect against flu-related complications. Don't get flu zone high dose quadrivalent if you've had a severe allergic reaction to its components, including egg products, or after previous dose of flu vaccine. Don't get flu block quadrivalent if you've had a severe allergic reaction to its components. Tell your healthcare professional if you've had severe muscle weakness after a flu shot. People with weakened immune systems may have a lower vaccine response. Demand and more from your flu shot. To get a Sanofi vaccine, make sure to ask for it by name. Schedule your Sanofi flu shot, available at these preferred national pharmacies. We have a variety of quality pre-owned vehicles, including Hondas, Toyotas, Subarus, as well as many other popular brands, right here at Stark on Highway 19, located at 502 West Main Street, here in Marshall, Wisconsin's premier pre-owned dealership. Welcome back. In its review of the Toyota Prius in the year 2000, Car and Driver magazine said the Prius is perhaps the first car that runs on guilt. <laughs> That's a great quote. In 2023, the magazine says, with hot new styling, the new Prius has finally become the best version of itself. For the 2024 model, our Harvey Briggs is almost speechless. Uh -huh. Almost. Let's go behind the wheel of the 2024 Toyota Prius. What are we looking at here? <laughs> Believe it or not, we're looking at a Toyota Prius. What? Yeah, it's actually sporty looking now, Mark. And, and not only is it sporty looking, it's actually kind of sporty. Sporty? Prius? It has a sport mode? When you put it in sport mode, it can go from 0 to 60 in 7.2 seconds, which is the same as an Acura Integra A-Spec. Okay, sold. Toyota felt the old Prius was feeling dated, and every car maker has a hybrid of some sort these days. So the engineers at Toyota City got to work. You have a completely new platform underneath here. It's longer, it's wider, it's more rigid, so it handles better. You've got a new engine in here. Horsepower has increased from 121 horsepower to 194 in this front-wheel drive model. Our top-of-the-line limited model gets 52 miles a gallon. The base model gets 57 miles per gallon running on smaller tires. So the all-important, how does it drive? <laughs> you know what? 
It doesn't drive like a Prius anymore. Uh, I think that's the real thing here. It actually has decent acceleration. Uh, you have a very smooth transition between the use of electric only and electric and gas. And that transition from electric mode to gas mode is seamless and automatic. You just drive. So you can see the battery is now powering the front wheels along with the engine. And that's a lot of technology for the price. Speaking of which, the base LE Prius sells for about $28,000 with front wheel drive. Our limited edition with options and destination fees, $38,000. All wheel drive adds another $2,000 to the package. So this is... Top of the line. Top of the line. This is the limited edition, so you have everything up front here, you know, heated, uh, ventilated seats. You've got a heated steering wheel, which is nice now that it's starting to get a little chilly. 12.3-inch touchscreen here. Standard is an 8. Interesting, two interesting things in this. First, the instrument panel. See how it is back further and raised up. Almost like a heads up. Uh, yeah, exactly. It, 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 and that was the intent. You look over the steering wheel at the gauges. Now, for me, this is fine. I'm 6'3". I've got my wheel set pretty much where I like it. But say someone's, you know, 5'8". Like, um, let's say me. Let's switch seats to check it out. Seat adjustment, higher. Steering wheel right where I want it. That's probably where I'd want it. The steering wheel? I can't see it. Right. You know, the thing that's most important first is to get into a comfortable driving right. position. I have to do this. Yeah, and that's not good. No. So, so this, this, I couldn't buy this car. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's why you have to get in and test drive cars. Um, because little things like that make a difference. Another complaint Harvey has is the rear visibility, especially if you have stuff in the back blocking the window. The rear view mirror doesn't view much unless you do this. Yeah, you can't. Go ahead and flip the switch there. This? Yeah, pull it towards you. Oh, look at that. It's a video camera. And now you can see everything behind you. So it's not perfect, this new Prius, but what is? This fifth generation hybrid is looking forward. So even in the base model, it doesn't feel as much like a economy car. And, and certainly it's not the science experiment. People bought a Prius because it was a Prius. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Harvey's here now. Yeah. There's also a plug-in hybrid, of, and that's a whole different animal. Right, and, and that one will have a uh, federal tax credit on as well because it has a plug. So, um, yeah, there's, a, you know, Prius originally came out. It was really the only game in town in hybrid, but now you can get, in Toyota's lineup, you can get almost everything in their lineup with a hybrid. So, um the reason for Prius to exist really isn't there anymore. <laughs> you know? This is quite a glow up though from, oh, yeah. from the old version. Very eh? much so. Yeah. And and they they've really done a good job of putting it back on the radar screen. Now the question is, do people want compact sedans? Even if it is a sporty looking sedan, everybody seems to be moving to SUVs. I think there's still a place for it, but it's not gonna be as big a uh, sales um you know, hit as it has been in the past for Toyota. But it's a looker. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, and, it, and it actually drives pretty well. That's all you need. There you go. Thank you, Harvey. Thanks, Harvey. Thank go you. to ridesanddrives.com for all the reviews, and we'll have a final check of your forecast coming up. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. Nobody wants to think about cold weather, but now's the time to winterproof your home. Is your house cold every winter? Your home needs foam. 
Are your heating costs too high? Your home needs foam. Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Your home needs foam. USA Premium Foam is over 35% more efficient than ordinary, weaker insulation. Winterproof now and get 0% financing for 72 months. USA Insulation. Salon Pass, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. A Beloit mother demands justice after her 10-year-old son is killed in a shooting. News 3 Now shares her tale of caution to others. Then we have continuing coverage on the investigation of a whitewater man accused of holding a woman hostage. That's next. Tonight at 6. Reckless driving is dangerous driving. News 3 Now shows you what's behind the surge in reckless driving throughout our area. And what police are doing and what you can do to help put the brakes on the problem. Reckless roads. Tonight on News 3 Now at 6. Chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday, although the rain won't be as bad as it was last week. Dry over the weekend, another chance of rain middle of next week with temperatures mostly peaking in the 50s. Fry Construction invites you to usher in the fall season with our exclusive fall sale. We're talking about savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer four years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our fall savings. Save 23% off gutters with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at fryconstruction.com. These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who were by their side, where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community, independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. Have you ever been challenged, been tried, made a pact with your own limits? Have you been here, there, places no one should go? If you have, then you know that whatever you're capable of, so are we. No wonder Ford SUVs lead in brand loyalty. Choose FlexBuy on a new Ford Bronco Sport and get 3.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 500 FlexBuy cash only at your local Ford dealer. Ivisia Dry Eye Drops, made with hydrating polymers, moisturizing hyaluronic acid, and revitalizing trehalose for instant dryness relief that lasts up to eight hours. Ivisia, we see a better way. It's never about, in the game of golf, just one thing. In Golf Galaxy, we are your team. We have the fitting bays, we have the track man, we have Biomech putter fitting system. We want to fit you with the right apparel, the right footwear. We have everything that you could possibly need to improve your game. Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. At 4imprint, finding the promotional products you need to create a memorable moment is an easy mission. Our expert team will take care of every detail to make your success a certainty. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. In today's final touch, it's called Puppy Kindergarten. But it's not just all fun and games. No, in the middle of a military base outside Mexico City, an army colonel runs what he calls a kindergarten for dogs. Puppies that one day will become rescue dogs or sniffer dogs for drugs or explosives get their basic training here at the Mexican Army and Air Force Canine Production Center. Founded in 1998, the center used Belgian Malinois, about 300, about 300 of them a year. A soldier beckons with a rag. They must capture the puppies, run through the trail, jumping over rocks and crossing obstacles and end up biting the rag the soldier holds. When the puppies <laughs> are four months old, the basic training ends and they move on to other military units to become specialists in certain fields. They are amazing dogs. Yeah, they are. They but they all have to learn. <laughs> they have to learn. That's our time for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here again tomorrow. News Street Now at 5 starts right now.